Antimicrobial resistance affects us all because anyone could at some point be infected by potentially deadly common microbes that no longer respond to the medicines we use to treat them. Globally, AMR pathogens already kill more people than either HIV AIDS or malaria. It's a trend that has experts very worried. It's getting worse. Yeah? Antibiotic resistance is rising. We are, you know, we are not, if we don't do anything now, we will have a, a post-antibacterial era by 2050. The most direct threat to human health is posed by antibiotic-resistant bacteria, often called superbugs. The WHO has identified priority pathogens, among them drug-resistant Clostridium difficile, which can cause life-threatening diarrhea, as well as a drug-resistant strain of the bacteria that causes gonorrhea. Half a dozen others are even more deadly. If you combine all of those six pathogens, they're responsible for, for close to 75% of all deaths attributable to drug-resistant infections in 2019. Bloodstream infections, uh, pneumo pneum uh, pneumonia, um, uh, meningitis, these are the, the, the leading diseases that are causing problems. But antibiotic-resistant bacteria are just one aspect of the issue. Viruses, among them HIV, can also grow unresponsive to the drugs used to treat them, as can parasites like the plasmodium that causes malaria. And doctors are also now seeing many more fungal infections that were once easily treatable, acquiring resistance to conventional medications. Resistance can develop very fast. If a new antibiotic was introduced for use right, right now, today, so on average we would see reports of resistance in about two to three years. But in the lab, you know, if you do this in the lab, you'll see this in 11 days or something like that for certain antibiotics. I think we have to remember it's a natural evolutionary process and this is accelerated by the misuse and overuse of antimicrobials. Uh, we can't stop it, but we can slow it down. In the evolutionary arms race with enemies that are too tiny to see with the naked eye, the situation is growing critical. We have to develop new antibiotics and other treatments and use the ones we already have more wisely.